Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland says there is a team of people right now trying to keep the peace and stop any more bloodshed from happening. Yeah, they're trying. Their efforts seem to have worked last night. But WRG investigator Jessica Gertler reports there are questions about the days to come. As tragedy unfolded and the crime scene grew on airways. This is crushing blow to us and a crushing blow to the community. A community mourned. Memphis rapper Young Dolph was murdered outside a cookie store on Airways. The motive remains unclear, fueling rumors and fear of retaliation. That's all the more important that we have these gang violence interrupters. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland has led efforts in recent months to build a group violence intervention program, a team working within schools, hospitals, and neighborhoods to stop bloodshed from happening. Basically, if there's a shooting or murder, the violence interrupters go in and try to stop retaliation. That's what occurred last night. Um, uh, that's what will continue to occur. We spoke to one violence interrupter who wouldn't go on camera, just telling us they haven't stopped working since young Dolph was shot. The chief says her officers were also put on alert. The Memphis Police Department is providing an increased presence in areas of the city that might be directly impacted by this unfortunate incident. We saw police overnight parked at Privé, owned by Yo Gotti, one of young Dolph's rival rappers. This afternoon, no sign of them, just a security guard in their place. Another rapper, Soldier Boy, who made mention of Young Dolph days prior, is set to perform this weekend at FedEx Forum. Police haven't responded to our questions about what safety measures they'll be taking. <laughs> Officers responded to a murder yesterday evening in South Memphis. It's unclear if it's tied to Young Dolph's. Overnight, they didn't report any more violence. Strickland didn't know if that was due to the efforts of violence interrupters. I don't know. I, I would certainly hope so. Uh, I know the effort was there. Jessica Gertler, WRG News Channel 3. Now I can tell you we also reached out to FedEx Forum to see if there would be more officers at this weekend show. We never heard back. As soon as we hear something, we'll be sure to let you know.